So what I'll do is, if Amazon still has it, I will leave a link for it below because it is amazing. It's the Salter 3X one, so it's the extra deep one, which means, I mean, this is a dinner plate and it takes up the entire centre of the dinner plate. It is huge. Massive. So anyway, that little bit of maple syrup on. So I'm going to eat this now and I will see you at lunchtime. Afternoon, it's lunchtime, say lunchtime, say two o'clock. Um, did I get dinner breakfast in the head? So, mm, right, how much breakfast come to? Breakfast came to 398 calories, so not bad considering that waffle was like the size of my face. It was huge. Um, anyway, right, lunchtime, I am having already mentioned a bit of chicken. Lunchtime, I am having a flatbread pizza. I'm gonna make so I always use let me take the clip off I always use these and they are 120 calories each and then as soon as I buy them I just stick them, stick them, stick them straight in the freezer I can't open stick them straight in the freezer so let me show you what I am doing let me turn the camera around Taking the flatbread out, it's defrosted. I've got it on a pizza tin and I've got the oven on 180. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put probably about a tablespoon of tomato puree. Uh, yeah, a tablespoon of tomato puree. Spread it around, make sure you kind of get it to the edges. You don't want too much tomato puree because it's really strong. Um, yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't say that was even a tablespoon. It's probably about half a tablespoon. Spread out the best you can. Then I have, um, I've got 30 grams of cheddar that I've grated. I normally like the cheddar mozzarella mix, but I haven't got any. And I've got 90 grams of chicken left over from the tacos from last night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the cheese on. I've grated this really finely so that it spreads out really well. Then I'm gonna put the chicken on. You know, the more chicken on you can put on the better because obviously the the meat is going to keep you uh, fuller for longer. Then I'm going to check on the rest of the cheese. Put on the rest of the cheese. And I do have some red onion from last night. So I'm going to put a little bit of red onion on there as well. There you go. And that is now gonna go in the oven. So, that's gone in the oven on about 170. I put it on for about seven minutes initially. Nothing actually needs cooking, everything is cooked. I don't mind it if the onion is, 
you know, sort of semi-raw, I don't really mind. So I'm gonna stick it on for seven minutes first and see how that goes. Um, right, how much is that so far? Right, I'm in the middle of putting it into my NutriCheck app, so I'm gonna let that cook and then I'll come back when it's done. about a seven inch pizza i'd say uh was 394 calories can't go wrong so together so far 792 calories let me show my new to check 792 calories that's tomato puree right? um yeah so all good because this is my final day before I drop back into my deficit tomorrow. So I'm being really good about tracking today because I am being as good as I should have. Um, yeah, so tracking today, making sure that um, I'm definitely not going over today, put it that way, since I have to weigh tomorrow. Um, yeah, see what damage I've done this week. Uh, yeah, anyway, so everything's a new check. I've got... See, this is where the kind of meal prep really helps because the onions were already prepped, the chicken was already prepped from yesterday, um, and actually this evening will be an even bigger testament to the meal prep, and that is, um, well, I'll just show you later, just show you where that is. So, I will see you at dinner time. Good evening, lovely people. Um, okay, so it is five o'clock, and let me show you what tonight is kind of turned into so it was originally supposed to be in chili on the menu if you saw the plan on the weekend however some of the meals shifted around a bit through the week so um let me show you what i've got let me flip you around salmon i was supposed to have had for lunch but then that changed because i ended up going into work and we had lunch provided so that knocked things out so we got salmon tonight there's roast veg left from what i propped prepped on the weekend um, I've got some chicken left from what I prepped on the weekend I've chopped up some broccoli a bit of oil salt and pepper and I've got rice pouches so originally it was just supposed to be me and my husband but now with now the three of us because Shannon's here as well so what I've done is so that's worked out quite well actually because these things that I prepped do, really do need eating today so Shannon and I are gonna have half a chicken breast each and half a piece of salmon each my husband will have a piece of salmon and the remainder of the chicken and then we'll split the roast veg and the broccoli between us all and the whole grain rice i love this it's from sainsbury's it is like the best and it and it's good because it's got pearl barley bulgur wheat millet buckwheat and quinoa in it and it is so nice it is so tasty so shan and i will have half of that each and may as well have a spicy rice and maybe i'll stick a bit of teriyaki over it or maybe just have it as it is because actually i took this to work the other day the chicken with roast veg and the rice and i took teriyaki with me but didn't actually really need it it was lovely as it was but it's an option so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick the cauliflower in the oven now that's going to take about half hour the salmon will take 15 minutes and i haven't decided yet whether i'm gonna put the chicken and the roast veg in the microwave or i might actually because the oven's on i might just stick them in the oven as is and stick them all in for about a quarter of an hour when the salmon goes in then everything should be ready at once yeah so i'm gonna be doing that and i'll show you it when it's ready Right guys, dinner is done. So let me flip you around and let me show you what I got. There you go, rice, roast veg, chicken, bit of salmon. So I'm gonna go and eat this while it's warm. 
The only other thing that I am going to have later is one of my half coated cookies and my sleep tea. And then that is it. That is me done for today. So, what I'll do is, when I'm editing this, I'll put the um, calories of this, because I'm going to sink it then, calories of this up on the screen, here, and I'm going to put my daily total up as well, just for you to know how many calories that is in a day. So, yeah, good day of eating, I think. Say hey, Shan. Uh, hey. All right, then, um, that is the end of the video. So, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.